We are currently in Christmas break, uh, but for the fall semester I was sleeping in the painting room behind my paintings and then uh, security found me somehow and I got in trouble so I started sleeping in my car. Somebody had told him I was in there, but like I'm on the security list so there wasn't anything they could do about it. It ended up working out better. I mean, I basically would wake up five days a week and out of my car in the parking lot and just walk to the art room and uh, start going and wouldn't get done till about 11 at night, so 10 a.m. to 11. Religion and philosophy go hand in hand with things like technology and artwork. And technology is getting very more and more abstract every day. Nobody knows where an iPod comes from. Nobody knows where computers come from. We don't know how to use them. We don't know what's going on. But at the same time, the commercials say you already know how to use it. You know, you don't know what it is. So I think artwork is becoming more despondent and more confused as uh, that happens to our psyche. It's, it's our psyche being abducted. So that's what my artwork was dealing with last semester. With all the pieces, I was trying to put symbols that anyone could interpret for themselves, you know, and find your own meaning. So it becomes this uh, kind of cathartic psychological experience looking at a piece of art. Um, I guess any art could be like that, but some art is made to help you with that process. I don't really remember naming any of them. Um, I haven't needed to yet. I think everybody struggles with artwork and struggles with, um, you know, finding meaning in whatever it is that their art is. and. Um, so this, this person's kind of like frustrated with it, but at the same time there's like there's really nice things coming out of all this weird chaos and everything. So that, that was a nice piece. I really enjoyed that one. art building again was that by choice or was it because you didn't have anywhere to live or what, what was up with that why were you doing that I mean for one thing it was like a you know a spiritual journey thing like it helped my discipline you know to not be around my family and to not have steady food or anything like that and it helped me you know adapt and be dedicated to my craft and all that we had to clean everything out for the next semester, but I have a few things. I, I mean, that's, is that normal for them to give students keys to the building to come up any time? They only give like three people keys. Like who's that? Who's the three people? Like the president of the art club. Uh, this piece um, was a, also a good experience for me. It was a collaborative piece with um, my friend Val Curry. Um, I work a lot with. Um, I have to come to grips with the fact also that I'm not making something that's utilitarian really. It's just kind of symbolic, you know, uh, for rich people to buy or whatever. But, um, you know, that, that stuff's always going to be around. Art is always around in any culture, no matter how bad the economy gets or whatever. You know, people need to see visual representations of what their entire society and culture is thinking. Uh, no, this is about a quarter of what I did during the fall semester. So I'm trying to do that in, Amer in an American way, but also in a universal way.
think art helps wake people up because everything is becoming a euphemism. And a euphemism is a symbol. You know, it's a sarcastic symbol and it's a deceiving symbol. And our food is a euphemism. Our religion is now institutionalized and it's a euphemism. Our uh, politics are, is a euphemism. It's just, it's all this, you know, horrible joke on our own minds. So I think that artwork that is coming from an honest place in you, no matter if it's technical or whatever, is good. And, you know, try to focus on good things, focus on freeing people, you know, freeing people's minds and what happens. Last semester was meaningful for me because I think before it started I decided I was going to set goals and collaborate with people and help other people out and, you know, try to get the program energized as well as myself and small little things I felt like that were what helped me. Do you plan on living in the art building again this semester? <laughs> no, I only did that for a while and um, switched to my car. So I'll probably be sleeping in my car again. This is my dog Daisy and she's in um, a lot of my artwork. Please, the eyes to see the sun fill up.